With two T-spawns outside a main hall, the CT spawning inside defending a single bomb site, this map brings rapid action, fast engagements and new life to an old custom game mode. This is the new Counter-Strike Global Offensive map, FACT. A map based on the original PA Fact released in the year 2000 by Dave Johnson, creator of the famous Dust 2. And today we are going to take a look at the original by Dave, my CSGO remake and his custom game mode for it, Prepared Assault. And if that sounds interesting and strikes your fancy, then come on over to our server and play the map with us. Prepared Assault is a largely forgotten game mode for the original Counter-Strike. Back in the days when I used to play 1.6 and older versions more often, I would stumble across unusual map prefixes from time to time. Everyone knows DE stands for Diffuse, like DDoS2 or D Inferno, Or the CS prefix, standing for the Hostage Rescue game mode. It is CS and not HR because it was the first game mode and back then CS just meant it's a map for Counter-Strike. Older players may remember AS for assassination or even older players ES for escape. One relatively obscure custom game mode that I came across back then was PA, PA standing for Prepared Assault. A very fast paced mode in which all equipment is provided at the start of the round, buying is disabled and the game starts immediately. Both teams rush forward seconds after spawning and move to engage the opponents. This is no game mode for competitive matches, this is for rapid paced skirmishes at LAN parties and a general quick match. The map PA Fact that this game mode was invented for can be downloaded on Dave's website. There he wrote the following about his map. Fact was the child of an idea that came after armory entities were added to CS, allowing level designers to place weapons around the map instead of letting players buy them. My aim was to create a small and tight map using custom textures and restricted weapon choice. In particular, the weapon selection was chosen in an attempt to balance it out. CTs nearer the terrorist end of the building were not given explosives or any weapons that could mow down the terrorists by shooting through the only wall separating the two spawn points. This type of gameplay was called Prepared Assault, hence the map prefix. It turned out extremely popular for very small and entertaining LAN parties and was publicized by Gearbox Software along with one of their own CS maps. There's even a little bit of cut content of this map, because Dave Johnson also tried to remake it for Counter-Strike Source, but unfortunately that version was never finished. Because this map was hosted by Gearbox Software as part of a promotional server running close quarter combat maps for the back then current version of Counter-Strike, which was 1.3 if I remember correctly, PA Fact gained some notoriety and a handful of people created their own prepared assault maps, some of which can still be found on sites like Game Banana to this day. On an interesting side note, this promotional server Gearbox hosted also ran an early version of the map CS Shoothouse, which was planned to be released with Counter-Strike Condition Zero in an expanded version. So far for the history section of this video. Now onwards to the map remake and the Steam Workshop version you can download and play today. As regular viewers of this channel know, I love restoring old Counter-Strike maps, be it Condition Zero stuff or Global Offensive related material. Examples would be my remakes of CS Damage, D Han Kagai, Cold Storage or D Vostok slash Balkan for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. A full documentary on D Vostok can be found in the upper right corner of the video right now. In my efforts to recreate fact for CSGO, I started by decompiling the original, cleaning up the geometry and after porting it over to the Source engine, I scaled it up by about 20% as Source player models are larger than their old counterparts. While I began working on remaking most of the geometry, I decided to contact Dave Johnson about his map. He was kind enough to answer all my questions and, and even gave me some insight into his attempts to remake the map for Counter-Strike Source. Unfortunately, that project never got finished 
but some of his ideas lived on in my remake. In his Source remake, he went for a Northern American industrial style, with heavy industry in the background and a train yard where the street used to be in the original. I blended his version with the original, but instead of a Northern American industrial setting, I went for a European style. I loosely based this on the industrial areas of Krakow, Poland. For example, the power plant in the skybox is loosely based on the one located in Nova Hutta. The Signal House's base layout was taken from Valve's remake of Train. It is a type of building that you will find a lot around smaller Polish rail yards. The big locomotive here is very similar to the TEM2, a type of locomotive you will regularly see in PKP service. The model itself was taken from Half-Life 2 Episode 2, but then was modified to have the couplings replaced with more European ones. The idea to have a large old bridge spanning the street and the rail yard was inspired by the old railway bridge in the inner city center of Krakow. But then the bridge itself is more of a fantasy design. There are a few things to discover here and there, like an old wall mural of the steelworks or the crane built in East Germany. And the crane is a nice segue to take a look at the changes I implemented. The original map features a little room atop the main hall. I chose to open it up and replaced it with this crane. The main hall became higher, wider and most notably brighter. In general I wanted to improve the visibility, especially around the bomb site. The original was a bit too dark for my liking. While the map got a massive facelift, the layout was largely retained. This elevated path still exists, it is now merely switched out for a roof and a locomotive. I suppose one of the biggest differences is the assortment of guns available on this map, when playing the original game mode of course. M4s, AKs of course, but also a Negev and for some reason an R8. Well, just for the fun of it. One thing that will make this map significantly different than the original is the choice to include incendiary grenades. Why you ask? Well, they are a great tactical device. And the original Counter-Strike was supposed to have them in 2002, so yeah, well, put them in. Kind of a nod to Condition Zero. Also, you can try to find the Counter-Strike Condition Zero easter egg. It's, it's not really hard to find. When you go and download the map, you will be able to play it with the original game mode, being of course Prepared Assault, then also Arms Race, Deathmatch, Gun Game and Wingman if you want to try that out. And then of course you have Demolition, which is pretty similar to the original Prepared Assault. You know, weapons provided, only one bomb site, rather fast matches. I'm not saying Valve was inspired by Prepared Assault, but you could in some way call Prepared Assault a predecessor of CSGO's Demolition game mode. Well, what is there left to say? I guess a big thank you to everyone who helped me with this project. In no particular order, Vincent, Zul, Sergei, Andre Valera, Zat Gladys, Warmock, Cory Bagel, Rem Gilama, Valkyrie, Tom, and of course, Dave Johnson. To them, a big thank you. This project was incredibly fun to work on. Originally I picked it because it seemed like a quick thing to do, but then the level of detail increased and increased more and more. It spiraled a bit out of control. It was fun to work on it. A big thank you to everyone. And now I call it a day, upload it to the workshop and give it to you. And I hope you enjoy it. I'm looking forward to feedback and invite you to download it and play it with us. Because we have it hosted on a server right now. <laughs> oh Gott. Na los geht's schaffen. Ach so, es gibt eine Bombe. <lacht> all relevant information of where to get it, all the links are in the video description down below. For those new to CS:GO, you gotta open the server browser to find our server or, you know, uh, connect via IP through the console. <lacht> ah. The old days when you only had the server browser and there was no matchmaking. You would find some weird servers back then. So, see you guys over there. I'm looking forward to meeting you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what I would like you to do. Give the video a like, download the map and rate it if you like it. Then also consider subscribing to this channel for future content. And if you absolutely love what we do, maybe even consider supporting us on Patreon as our supporters on Patreon not only got to see this video first, but they also got to play this map and several in development versions of this way before anyone else. And our wonderful supporters are... Lone Wolf, Zed Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Uncle DG, Harrison Steffens, Plasma, Tome, Rainbow Flash, 
Grizzly Wear, Strange Module, Tainzer, Cop Fighter, Inter, Charles Third, and Sir K. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. Hopefully, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day, and as always, goodbye and guten Tag.